Well, I had surgery and it was a lot worse than I thought it was gonna be. If you don't know what I'm talking about, here's the quick recap. About two months ago, we filmed a video with high-powered slingshot rifles. And this might be hard to believe, but one of the shots ended up bearing a steel ball in my leg. The crazy part is I didn't figure out until two weeks later after I posted the video and read your comments. Now, in a follow-up video, I told you guys the surgeon said I could either leave it in and hope it eventually works its way out or go in for surgery to remove it. So I let you all vote, and a majority of you said, take it out and sell that bad boy on eBay. I honestly thought the vote could go either way, but a lot of you were worried about future complications, such as not being able to get an MRI in the future or how I constantly hit that spot in my experiments because clearly I hate my legs. Honestly, though, the concern for my well-being was truly heartwarming, and I really appreciate it. So surgery day comes. The surgeon first tries to feel for the ball and nothing. He couldn't find it. So they had me walk down to radiology so they could take x-rays during the operation. And that's when they spotted it, past the fascia, buried about an inch deep into my muscle. From there, it turned into about an hour of them digging around until they finally got it out. Basically, there was no chance of it ever coming out on its own. Which also explains why in that YouTube members and Patreon video where I tried using a very strong magnet on it, absolutely nothing happened. The surgery itself wasn't super painful, but it was extremely uncomfortable. Even with numbing, it's just weird knowing someone is cutting into your leg and digging around. I get hurt for a living <laughs> and I really didn't like it. In the end, thankfully they removed it. I only needed three stitches and now I got a take it easy for a week. So no heavy lifting or crazy experiments since, you know, they had to cut into my muscle and whatnot. On the bright side, the medical staff were awesome and we had some good laughs at my stupidity for ending up in this situation. So if any of you are watching, thank you. Now for the fun part. The ball is officially out and available for sale on eBay. I didn't clean it and it still has my blood on it. So technically you could clone me if you wanted to. I don't know why you would want to, but I feel like you could make it happen. Maybe. I even signed the container badly. 31 years old and still can't write my name in a way that looks visually appealing. And I'm pretty confident this is one of, if not the most famous slingshot ball in existence. Considering over 40 million people have seen it enter my leg through various social media posts. The link for this eBay listing will be in the description. I honestly have no idea why anyone would want this thing but I am very curious to see what it sells for. That's all I got for now. And if you want the full story, click the two videos that are on your screen now. And as always, never try anything you see me do, unless you want someone digging around for a foreign body inside your body. <laughs>